Now, we built the Jamf compliance editor on top of the MSCP, helping streamline how you build and deploy those MDM controls. Earlier this year, we helped you uh, audit your devices in a more streamlined way using the compliance baseline dashboard in Jamf Protect, helping you understand where your efforts can have the greatest impact. And these were significant steps forward, okay? But we knew our job wasn't done. We knew from your feedback just how important this was, and it really helped shape where we went next. That's why I'm so excited today to introduce compliance benchmarks in Jamf Pro. Our latest... <laughs> Wait till you see it. <laughs> our latest innovation in helping you satisfy compliance and deliver secure devices to your users. And to help us actually take a look at what this looks like live, please welcome my colleague Ty. Some of you might know him. Uh, we're going to pull it up and take a peek. How are you feeling? You ready? Feeling good? Good, good, good. We've gone in on the live demos this year, so hopefully it all works out. Cool. Now, Jamf Pro admins can access the new compliance menu, where for the very first time, you'll be able to build, deploy, and verify compliance in a single end-to-end -end workflow inside of a single Jamf interface. We can get started by checking our available benchmark templates, selecting maybe CIS level one or level two, and don't worry, at release, you'll have access to a full list from the MSCP, including NIST 853, CMMC, and many others. Now, we can define the benchmark with a name. And when we're ready, we'll select the enforcement type. And perhaps you want to start with monitoring just to audit where you're at, understand the current state of your fleet before you take an action. Or when we're ready, we might automatically enforce the benchmark. How does that sound? Cool. Next, we'll define the scope. And I think, Tice, just for this one, we'll start by going to some test devices first. We just want to make sure everything is working as expected. Next up, we can tailor the rules in our benchmark to match the needs of our organization, but balance with the needs of our users. For example, we've chosen CIS level two, but we might allow a list of users at the login window. And we're OK with password hints. We think, so, we think it provides a smoother experience for our users. Also, AirDrop is a super useful tool for collaboration. Our teams use it a lot, so we're going to leave that enabled. One final review, and if that's looking good, how's it looking? Good, big thumbs up, cool, hit save. That's it. It's just that simple. Once deployed, we can monitor the individual controls and track our compliance journey across the environment, while Jamf Pro will abstract away all that complexity of, man of managing individual objects. It will just go off build, deploy all those for you. I'm glad you liked it. We worked really hard on it. <laughs> uh, if you're managing iOS and iPadOS, don't worry. Compliance, we understand that compliance is just as important for these platforms, and we'll be adding support soon after launch. You'll be able to open an existing benchmark that you're already using for your Macs, add a mobile smart group instead, and Jamf Pro will just figure out the rest, removing the complexity of having to manage separate workflows for separate platforms. We're actually already in private beta, so some of you may not be seeing this for the first time, uh, but the wider Jamf Pro customer base can expect beta access in the coming months. You can learn more about it in the breakout session, uh, but we think you're going to love it, so very excited to hear that feedback. <laughs> 